talk about basketball though. So, my you don't play the league, yo. Yo, Ray, what is your rock talk about ball for? Y'all know y'all niggas ain't no ball. See, he just talking to be talking right now. Yo, so, I, you know, I, I, I could have played, though. So I could have played. I could have played. So. played. Yo, Ray, you know and I was me, playing in Pacific. And me? I, I could have played, though. So I could have played. I'm going to tell you something. But me, yo, you was too fly. But look, <laughs> I, was playing, I was playing for Pacific, and I was playing for um Automotive. But let me tell you this, right? I'm trash until I play with Strang. Then all of a sudden, Strang, this I was around here. I was out here looking like fucking... Uh, DeAndre Aiden is some shit out this bitch <laughs> fucking with Scrag. I'm telling you. Hey yo, which I make to niggas talk better. About? I make niggas around me better, so you know what I'm saying? That's what I do. What up, what up, what up, what up? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Monster Mondays. Yeah, I, am yeah. your, I am your host, Mr. Monster Man Rocco. This is my co-host. It's the Rang Mung, the main gun, Captain African America. And my favorite DJ is not here right now. He's not here right now. But he'll be back. He'll be back. We got to hold it down for him as old. Like we like we always do about this time. We're going, we, we, we just going to get right into it. Thank you. Thank yeah. you all for joining you know what I don't like about this shit all the time, man? What? You always in like some studio type setting in the background and shit. I'm always at my crib and shit, man. You well, know? listen, <laughs> when when I'm in New York, it's hard for me to find a quiet place. Because New York <laughs> is New York. You know, even my crib is noisy. You know what I'm saying? In New York, it's like, you know, you got neighbors, you got fucking... All kind of shit. It's a mess. Yeah, so, man. so yeah. I, I when I'm out here, I be I be having the. But back in Arizona, that be the bedroom, nigga. That be that be the room. Not supposed to say that. But all right. Not supposed to say what. <laughs> anyway, what anyway. That be the crib. But um, what I was gonna say is, um, have you heard about the uh, the Harlem Globe the Harlem Globe try the niggas? Yeah, I heard about that shit, man. <laughs> heard about that bullshit, man. You're not feeling it. Actually, it's not bullshit, man. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it everybody think I'm going to go try to go come ready to do some skibbity do bop the debut shit, but that's not what it's going to be. You know? It's going to be regular yeah. NBA players. They're going to be on the team. They're going to be doing tricks and shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody getting the wrong idea, man. You don't think they're going to have no trick? They ain't going to be doing no tricks? No, they're not. All right. Skip Kyrie gonna... Lou came to the NBA, had to play NBA ball. Man, remember that? Yeah, but then Kyrie Irving came in there and started doing what he do, and 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 Jamal uh, Crawford came in there doing the, the the fuckery he was doing. You know what I mean? It's like no Harlem glow trying to shit, man. That's some I know. That's the park shit, man. Yeah, but then you get you combine some park shit with quote with Lob City. Over there, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but Harlem Globetrotters is circus shit. Not, yeah, yeah. Not, not, it's, it's not, you know what I'm saying? Park <laughs> shit. No, I got you. But I'm saying yeah, they but, could at least be some park shit. You know what I mean? They could at least be Lob City. Harlem Globetrotters like is, Globe is universal circus, circus shit. Man. You know what I'm saying? Universal circus yeah, shit. Yeah, universal circus. Yeah, you you right, you right. I'm not I'm not I'm not debating that. You know what I mean? But um, yeah. But if they could make it to where they like, where they like, all parkish, you know, Lob City. I mean, you know, just fun to watch. One of the teams that's fun to watch. Then that'd be, you know, what I'm saying. Cause you got some teams that's on some grit and grind shit, like the Grizzlies. Up until they got Ja Morant, them niggas was just. You know, grit and grime on their shit. You know what I mean? Ja gave them some flash or whatever. You know what I mean? I hate to cut you off and shit, but is that Zoe right there, man? Yeah, that's Zoe. 
That's right. Yeah, that's how we go. Say what's up, Zoe, man. He hear you. He heard you. He heard you. I got to You know what I'm saying? I got to stop some shit for say what's up to my nigga Zoe. Hey, yo. Oh, and Big Homie, so I ain't want to talk because I ain't want Rock to scream at me. But what's good, Big Homie? Hey, <laughs> man. I'm chill. I miss you, man. You know him and Spliff scream at me all day, every day, man. I, you know I be trying to stay out the way. Sorry about that, but Zoe is global, baby. All right? <laughs> <laughs> Remember that, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Love you, bro. Love you too, big homie. You got to get right. in. I ain't going to tell you. I ain't going to put you on the spot right now. Right, right. I'll see you later. <laughs> I'll see you later. Mm-hmm. All right, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, big man. My fault, man. My good partner right there. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, uh, at least they could be a fun, one of the teams that's fun to watch. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to a team where they on some grit and grind like a... You know, one of those teams. I mean, over time, yeah, man, you know. Over time, they'll be fun to watch, man. Like they'll the be, next... They'll, the be next trash for, they'll be trash for the next eight to ten years, though. That's quite possible. <laughs> right? Right. But it'll be New York. It'll be Harlem. They'll show up. They'll sell tickets. That's how it is. Harlem. Harlem. What's next? What's next? <laughs> New Jersey got to get a team again, baby. Nah, son. We're going to have the Brownsville. We're gonna, it's going to be the Brownsville. <laughs> Brownsville Butchers. What, what's next? Yeah, NBA ain't having that, baby. If ha- Harlem is a hood, it is not a city. It's a hood. If they can have the Globe Trotters be an expansion <laughs> team, then <laughs> we can have the Brownsville ass buses if we want, nigga. <laughs> I'm just saying. Hey, every area is not a hood, Rock, all right? It's an area. Harlem is not a area. city. It's an area. You're right. It's not a city. It's an area. Man. All right. And Brownsville is an area, too. Is Brooklyn a city? Yes, it is. Or is it a borough? Or it's is it a, a borough and a city? city? It's a borough and a city? Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, but yeah, uh, that shit is crazy. Like you know, I mean, I'm, am I am I being a hater right now? Am, am I am I being a hater right now? Hating on Harlem? Yeah, right man. Now? You know what I'm saying? As much as some Brooklyn niggas might hate to admit it, and I'm from Brooklyn, man, just as much as anybody else. Harlem is a legendary place, man. Nah, it uh, is. It is more it is. legendary than than Brownsville. It is. It, for legend, the, listen, Brownsville yeah. is legend. Brownsville is legendary just for different things. Yeah, I mean, but Harlem is more legendary. It's more known. It's more mainstream. Yeah, you're right. You're right, God. You're right. You're right, God. Deodorant. Deodorant. Other countries know about Harlem. Now, deodorant. You're right, God. You're right, God. (laughs) You know. Now, um, they know about Brownsville and other countries too. Let's not. Let's not. No slander on Brownsville, but you're right. You know, Harlem is. Harlem is definitely that deal. I mean, they already had the Harlem Globetrotters. They didn't already right. have the Brownsville exactly. ass buses. I mean, when the Harlem Globetrotters first started, they wasn't the Harlem Globetrotters, but now they the Harlem Globetrotters. You know what I mean? They legendary. Because was Harlem, they when they started? Huh? What was they when they started? I don't know. All I know is. I'm saying they couldn't be famous when they first started. That's what I'm saying, man. They had to just start from somewhere. It just started just doing what the fuck they was doing. Busting niggas' know. ass, probably going to the parks, busting niggas' ass. Who knows how it should start? Maybe we, need, maybe we need to do some research on that. But whenever you start something, you can't be famous, man. It's just like niggas now, right? You, you probably ride the train in New York and shit. You see some nigga dancing and shit, man. You mm-hmm. won't say, hey, uh, that's that nigga that was dancing on the train until you see him fucking famous fucking five years later. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I see your point. Everything starts from somewhere, man. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, but the Harlem Globetrotters better be good. They won't be at first, man. They'll be a Toronto Raptors, a Vancouver Grizzlies, uh, you know what I mean? Listen. Harlem is not going to be able to handle no mediocrity. You know Harlem don't play that. Well, they're not going to get the best play as soon as they come on. They better figure something out. And Curly O'Neal is not jumping out of his grave, all right? They better figure something out. Cause <laughs> Curly, Harlem, O'Neal's, Curly O'Neal's not walking through that door to play for the Harlem. Harlem is not having that. Like, on some real shit. Like, 
Harlem will laugh them niggas out of the out of Harlem got some jokesters up there. Like they will them niggas them niggas will clown Listen, a bad team out of they out of their area. Harlem is not gonna give a fuck, man. You know what I'm saying? Harlem is like Brooklyn got a team. We got a team. They showing up, bro. All right, they showing up. When Brooklyn got a team, though, we was trash for a while. So I get what you're saying. Dipset showing up, bro. Dougie Fresh showing up. All right, <laughs> Fat Joe showing up. My son Ron Browse is going to show up. Ron Browse showing up. Diddy showing up, man. Yeah, is showing up. It's hard. Yeah, but I'm just saying, you know, to do that, they going they need to put, they going, they going to have to put some, uh, some type of dope product on on the floor. They can't. Do, they're not. They're not going to be coming showing up just to to them just getting thrashed every night. There's no way they're going to put a dope product on the floor the first couple of years. They're going to have something interesting. They got us, son. Only, only, only team I seen really do that is, is is Orlando when Shaq went there, man. That's the only team that it instantly just. And I'm saying, you know, already nobody like that. But. It might be a nigga on his way out of college right now. We never seen LeBron James come straight out of high school and miss the first two years of the playoffs. Yeah, but his team was relevant with him on it, though, right? I mean, they was getting coverage and shit. You know, it's LeBron James. We don't see Zion. We don't see Zion come out and you know what I'm saying on Pelicans and you know. We're going to talk about some. We're, we're talk about this more in a, in, a, in a minute. We gotta go to break. We'll be right back. Hi, right. I'm the Rockness Monster, dopest voice in hip hop ever. Yes, ever. Ladies love my voice. You know what else ladies love? Ladies love cool shirts. We got some of the coolest shirts you ever seen in your life over here. They don't shrink, they don't wrinkle, they don't fade. Best part about it is they feel good, real good. I promise you, you put this shirt on, and women are gonna hug you different. We also got matching socks and neck gaiters for whichever shirt you order. Speaking of ordering, to order, go to rocknessbcc.bandcamp.com. Go there and have a blast. Knock yourself out. Rock on. Rock on. And we're back. <clears throat> so, um, sorry for eating and drinking and shit. You know, I'll be running around here starving and shit. You know, I'm skinny. Nigga got to get away and get it right. Now, you got to eat because I remember what you said, man. You know what I'm saying? You, you eat like you're supposed to smoke and you smoke like you're supposed to eat. So, <laughs> <laughs> I love what you said in the other show, but you eat, brother. You do your thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> That's good. I don't remember saying that, but I'll take it. And it, it, it makes sense. It sounds true to the motherfucker, whether I said it or not. Just don't disagree. It's on video. <laughs> don't disagree. I'm not going to disagree. Like I said, it sounds true to the motherfucker. It sounds like a bar. I'm like, damn, I, I, that's not in the rap yet? I'm tripping. But, um, on some other basketball shit, have you heard about the Team USA shit uh, debacle that's been going on? Yeah, I heard Do you consider that a debacle? That's what I was just about to say, man. It's not a debacle. It's just the pre-games, man. You know, mm -hmm. Qualification games, you know what I mean? But I will say now that uh, that 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 they had been getting beat and stuff, that they set the ball so high that they have to win a gold medal now, or else it's a disappointment. Everybody's gonna say, hey, we seen that at the beginning. They lost the first two qualifying games and did this and did that. So they have to win a gold medal. And if they don't, they're gonna get killed. I don't care what they do in the motherfucking uh, regular season of the NBA. <laughs> Kevin Durant can score uh, 99, all right? They're gonna kill him for this Olympic shit. He's the best player there. He's the leader. Yeah. And you, yeah. Don't, lose, and you don't lose to Nigeria. All right, it's just stuff that just don't happen, man. <laughs> Put in the qualifying game, you just don't do it. You're not Nigeria, nah, man. Why not, man? Nigeria get busy. Clearly, well, that's 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 the point. They don't, man. They got busy this game. All right, Nigeria doesn't get busy. They don't get busy. No, they don't get busy, man. They're like one in uh 
39 and a half against everybody. Like, making shit up. And the one they just got was this one. All right? <laughs> so, making shit up. I'm just telling you, I probably made that up, but it's, it's, it's probably closer to the truth than closer to a lie. You got some dope one. You got some dope one liners today, brother. Let me, I'm, 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 I'm gonna just take this. Let me hold. Let me just take this moment to give you your props. All right, thank you. Man. I appreciate it. That was good. Those those is old bars right there. I don't, <laughs> those are bars right there. Yo, man. understand. Life is not a rap song, Rock. All right. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh my god! I was hoping you say that too, yo. Yeah, I'm glad you was. I'm glad. I, I'm, I'm glad I didn't disappoint yo, you. I mean, I man. was hoping you said that, man. I swear yes, it I was, yo. Thanks, oh, man. man. Thank you for that, brother. Life is a movie. It's a rap song. It's a sitcom. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's a. Sometimes it's a fucking. It's a, a a comedy. That's a sitcom. Sometimes it's a drama. Sometimes it's a fucking action movie. You know what I mean? We done lived through some fucking hood action movies and all kind of shit. You know what I mean? All right. I I do I I prefer to I do well looking at life like it's a video game. It takes <laughs> it take look it takes my feelings out of a lot of the things that I'm going through. It's like when you play a video game like a you know any any one person you know when you playing as one one play not fighting against an opponent or whatever. It's always just you trying to get to the next level. You know what I mean? Whether it's Pac-Man, whether it's fucking right, uh, right. Call of Duty. Right, yeah. You know, you just gotta do whatever you gotta do. And you might you might be on your James Bond or whatever the game is these days. You done uh, killed you done killed everybody, but you still can't get off this level because you ain't gonna get the health pack and, and, and the cold and shit. It's like nigga. You cannot be mad at it. You just gotta do what you gotta do to get to the next level. But back to right. the USA situation. Man. Yeah. What about it? It's not a debacle. I got faith in them, man, that they're gonna bring the goal home in USA. They got the best player, man, on the over there, man. Kevin Durant, the second best player in the NBA. Arguably, some people say he's the first. He's the best player in the league. You know what I mean? Yeah, but Bradley Bill going, you got COVID jumping back out at niggas. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? And so Bradley Bill going, somebody else, who was it, Jerry and Grant? I don't know. Somebody else going, and who knows what's going to happen. And it's supposed to be in Tokyo. I heard some shit about, you know, Tokyo is getting messy over there and all of that. I don't, you know, I didn't read it. I just, I, I scrolled it. You know what I'm saying? I scrolled it and saw it. So I didn't get all of the details. But yeah, they was talking about, you know, closing down shit out there. So they might be out there playing with no audience type of shit. She crazy. Well, she crazy. Well, I got faith they bring the go home. Man. You know what I mean? Kevin I Durant, know. Kevin Durant, man. I don't I'm know. Just... And yeah, I don't know. Like, I mean, I do a lot of complaining about america but i'm kind of but i'm proud to be, I, i'm glad to live in america i'm proud to be an american I'm, you know what i'm saying i'm proud to be a black man living in america i like this shit. you understand i don't want to see us take a loss but kevin i don't durant, know kevin durant damian lillard they got those guys i'm gonna ride with them oh they got oh, oh, oh they they got damian lillard too yeah and i'm gonna i'm gonna ride with them and and think that they're gonna figure it out All yeah right. Listen, as much as we don't like to see them lose, those guys can't like to lose either. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's them actually losing. Remember yeah. that. They don't want to yeah. hear that. They don't want to hear that shit. Yo, just think about, all right, when we we both, we all entertainers, right? Us and them as, you know, artists and as basketball. They're entertainers, right? They just happen to do it with their athleticism, right? When we go out to perform and when they go versus when they go out to perform, like it's a 50-50 chance they could get they like like we have a bad show like a bad show happens when the mics is shitty or when it's promoted whack and you know don't nobody you know the, 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 the crowd is thin or whatever and or if we fuck up a lot like you know you fuck up a lot of your lyrics you might consider that a bad show or whatever but overall most of the times we have when we go out and we put our our pride on the line we have 
a favorable experience you know what i'm saying so that we can go, at least go home and be you know and feel good about it Every, only once in a while is you leave with a sour taste in your mouth pause as an athlete every time you go to perform it's a 50 50 chance you can get your whole fucking your shit crushed you know what i mean your whole your pride your feelings your feelings hurt and all that shit that's a mother that's that take that takes a lot B. That takes a lot. That's what that's that's great 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 great, great. Great. they go out and do it every night consistently. Like, yeah. Let me see the lighter, bro. Yeah. I feel you. It's a big deal. Um, You still drinking Hennessy? That's not Hennessy, bro. Uh, Zoe's a troll. <laughs> um. <laughs> A troll is a nigga who be starting with people. Well, my shit echo. No, I'm definitely not a troll. <laughs> Look, we wild old school in here. It's always like, troll? Definition. Why my, my shit echo, man? I don't know. I don't hear no echo. Oh. Um, hey. You got any shameless plugs? No, not really, man. You know, it's the Ring One, the Solid Ice outfit, man. Check all that shit out. We got shit coming soon, man. You know, that's it. Mm, that's dope that's dope that's dope um but you all know the ether rocks album is it's on its way to you ladies love cool shirts i'm still slinging shirts on um on my band camp and all that rockmissbcc.bandcamp.com got shirts i got music for you to catch up to if you, did y'all hear slinging rock a lot of y'all probably did it's on my band camp. Go there. You know what I mean? So, you know, and, and and as always, like like the homie says, stay tuned. We doing shit. We got a lot of shit going on. So just stay tuned. You see my plaques at the back? Monster Nation. I see you, man. Like that's 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 our um shop work. What's that? Um Rhyme and Reason over on 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 that side. And the WWF soundtrack song I did with Red Man on it. I hate that song. Dude. That's another song I hate. Hate that song. I was trash on that song, bro. I was yeah. And you don't know shit about the WWF, man. Get the fuck out. Who are you talking to? Why are you you tripping? You tripping. You tripping. You don't know shit about the WWF. You just trying to WWE, me. the WWF. And I don't know shit about the WWE. I don't. Yeah. But the WWF, I grew up on. Bob Backlund did all of that. Name one nigga that's name one nigga that's dope from the WWF. That's not really like famous, but a dope wrestler. I just not told you Bob Backlund. He famous, man. He famous. He, he, niggas don't even know who Bob Backlund is. Remember Bruno Crazy. San Martino, nigga. He's Larry been Zabisco been for like almost twenty years, man. This Larry Zabisco, Backlund. Bruno San Martino, and shit. I tell you this, right? You know that song by the Village People, saying San Francisco, San San Francisco. As a kid, I thought they were saying Sad Sad Zabisco because Larry Larry Zabisco lost the big match, and 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 I thought they made a song for me. Sure, so you was running around singing and shit. So you was running around singing the song from the Village People and shit. I was singing. The, uh, yeah, I was. Oh, okay. That's yeah. all I want to know. Well, I wasn't yeah. singing the right thing, though. I was singing some other shit. Don't matter. These village people song singing motherfucker. <laughs> and okay. there's nothing wrong with that. All right. You oh, so, 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 so why? So, so why you saying it to me? Like it's like I'm it's just saying you sing your songs, man. You sing so why, your songs. So, you, like. so you sing your songs you like. That's yeah. all. Like song from the village people. So it's a bisco or some shit. Right? That's it. Well, you kids, kids, when you're a kid, that's what before all of those prejudices and, 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 and phobias and all of that kind of shit come into play. I'm saying I would believe that and shit. I would believe that, man. But the only thing is you run around singing village people back in the days and then you come here today dressed in all purple and shit. So I don't know, Rock. Is it really about that? Huh? Is it really? Look you, at me. There will be there will be no Prince slander on this show. <laughs> we hey, I like Prince. I love Prince. I stand for it. Hey, I love Prince. All right. I'm we just not stand for I'm it. I'm just saying. We gotta go to break. You ain't just saying that. You saying wrong stuff. I'm just right? saying. We going to break, man. We going to break. 
Hey, wait up, Prince or Michael? Prince. Oh shit. We're going to break. We'll be back. When you guys want to start your own side hustle, your own business, whatever it is that you guys want to do, people are going to call it your little business, right? They're going to call it your little business, your little side hustle, but that's okay. When I wanted to start my own hair care line, someone told me, aren't there already hair care lines out? When I wanted to start selling courses, people told me that's all you do is sell stuff on the internet. And when I decided to buy rental properties instead of investing in my own personal house, people told me that you don't own a home, you own houses. So people are always going to have something negative to say, but it does not matter. What they're really doing is projecting their insecurities onto you, right? They really want to be in the position that you're in to have that faith in yourself to um, accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish. Owning my own business outweighs the benefits of me going back to a nine to five. So there's no reason to give up. This is Monster Nation Jade, and I think you should start your journey to financial freedom right now. So go to the website that you see here or click the link in the description below or find me on IG and click the link in my bio, Exotic Jade Eyes. We're back. <clears throat> what it look like, what it look like, what it look like. Um, yeah, man. So, so, so. I think it's finally, I think we should tackle the A, uh, to those listening, I'm doing air quotations right now. The the hip hop versus rap conversation. You know, so, you know, it's it's a loaded topic or whatever. Let me just let me just never start it up. Stuff, no. You never understood it. Great. That's that's a great way to begin it. What do you mean by that? I never understood the hip hop versus rap stuff because rap is supposed to be in hip hop. Yeah, it's a part of hip hop. Right, exactly. So why would it be versus if it's a part of it? It's like they say hip hop is graffiti, dancing, rap, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what is it, DJing? Mm -hmm. Or those are together? Nah, that's that's the, they're not together. Oh, all right. And it's something else. <laughs> break dancing. dancing. Break dancing. Break dancing. Graffiti, the way we dress. Oh, it's all right. Yeah, it's um... But no, but you know, I mean, the way we dress, the all, all of this is part of hip hop culture, right? And like a lot of people, you know, I'll tell some people, you know, the bitch, I'm like, I'm a rapper. And some, you get these hip hop purists that be like, you're not a rapper, you an MC. I'm like, but what does an MC do? Right. He raps. Right. You know what I mean? Like, fucking raps. For years, we've been having rappers telling us that they're not rappers in their rap songs. And exactly. it and it fucking, you know, it always kind of irked me a little bit just to keep it 100, like, like nigga, for real? See, Whatever. Man, I'm surprised, man, because I thought you was gonna pick, you know, the MC thing, side of things, man, you know what I'm saying? But I'm on the same side with this one, man. I don't I mean, understand, but wait up, I don't understand why being a rapper, like there's something wrong with that, or for people to be ashamed of say, hey, I'm not a rapper, I'm an MC. Like, I don't get that. Yeah, but you got, I mean, like, it got ugly for rap, for the term, for the rapper for a while. Like, you had dudes talking about, they not rappers, they hustlers. They not even talking about MC, and it's like, fuck that. Like, or they the not rappers, they're entertainers. Yeah, but, but that, that too. Yeah, yeah, because they, they feel like, you know, like rap is a small thing to them. You know what I mean? You know, there's that aspect of it. But also, I feel like what I do agree, like, like when you go to, I feel like there's a difference between, and and, and it could be all in my mind, right? But I could have just, I could be justifying it myself, but there's a difference between hip hop events and rap events. You know, I, I use that in my day-to-day -day language. Like, you go to a hip-hop event and there's never any violence. You go to a rap event and it's, you know, it's a different kind of lit when you go, when when I say you go to a, when, when I say that, I'm talking about the event where they, the rap event is where they popping bottles. You know what I mean? Niggas got on $2,000 shirts and shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, you know, all of that shit like they're going because it's a big popping artist there the club is lit it's all of the flash you know what i mean 
and you know, let's say Jay Z, let's say Fabulous is performing there. Two dope artists, whichever. It's, it, it could be a dope artist there, but a lot of the people, you know, some of the fans may be there not because they love that artist. They may be there because that artist is popping and they know that this club is just popping. This is where it's litty, you know what I mean, or whatever. As opposed to the, the genuine love that, you know, it's, it's a, a, the genuine love and vibe that be at the quote unquote hip hop events. Everybody well, gets along. Yeah. To be honest, yeah. I, I don't know the difference between hip hop and uh, rap anymore. It's like, yo, they got love in hip hop. There's no love or no hip hop on the show. You know what I mean? I see the B, I see the BT Hip Hop Awards. I don't see no hip hop on the show. You know what I mean? I don't get it, man. Look, I don't know what hip hop is anymore. Love and hip hop, it is. There's love one there. There's no love and no hip hop. You got bitches motherfucking yes, love one. You got bitches arguing over motherfucking whose shoes cost more and shit. Like yeah, that. but there's still love in other pockets of the show. That's not all it's about. You know what I mean? People be having whole relationships on this shit, you know, making babies and all kind of shit on there. It's getting married and all of that. You know, so it's some love. There. Until Tuesday <laughs> until Tuesday come and then they get in the divorce talking about their baby dad ain't shit. Nigga right. Scrappy nigga Scrappy been with this wife for a while. They, they listen, going, listen think, I'm not gonna talk about love and hip hop on here, bro. All right. I mean, you brought it. You brought it up, nigga. I'm just saying. I brought up other stuff too, man. I just used that. I don't want to talk about that stuff. <laughs> listen, all I'm saying is that yes, or there's the other shit, but there's love there, and there's a little bit of hip hop. They be having rappers and shit. Right. Right. You know what I mean? But. I don't know. As far as hip hop and and the rap shit goes, like I don't know. It's such a fluid. It's such a. It's like like you heard about the debate that went on with uh with, with Royce and Lupe and and R J Payne and Ransom yeah, and yeah. I I stepped in on it and and other people came in on it. <clears throat> Actually, I feel like that shit is going, it's starting to go in off, veer off into a negative direction. I, I, I seen some, anyway, that's beside the point. But with all of that, I watched some dude, like somebody, I can't remember exactly who it was, but it was somebody who was speaking about that interaction amongst these lyrical Jedis, right? And he spoke about a part where, where, where Lupe asked everybody who, everybody who was in the chat at that time, what is a line that made you want to step your shit up? You know what I mean? And Lupe said for him that it was a Jay Z ball. You know, uh, and I think somebody else might have said a Jay Z ball, right? And then this person, like, he was like, this was one of the craziest things. He was like, it baffles me how these lyrical giants still find inf inspiration in Jay-Z. Jay-Z is a pop star. I'm like, you don't, you see, you don't get it. I'm like, you don't get it. Like, if you really, like, if, when you really listen to hip hop, if you really from like, yeah, Jay-Z made a lot of get money shit, but Jay-Z dropped a lot of jewels in those records and this, that, and the third or whatever. But it's like, to- Jay-Z is a lyrical giant. Absolutely, right? But to the quote unquote hip hop purist, they, they, he, that nigga, he said out his mouth, Jay Z is essentially a pop star. Like he didn't say literally, but he said essentially a pop star. If I, if if my memory serves me correctly, you know what I mean. He's like, it's, it amazes me how these these fucking Jedi's, and I'm like, that's because you don't get it. And Jay Z is a hip hop purist. <laughs> he may be. I don't he think come, he is. I, he is. He come from this stuff. I'm telling you. you no, know, when I say hip hop purists, I mean those are the niggas. These are the niggas who don't want hip hop to change. They want hip hop to always be lyrical. They want. They don't want you rapping over no beats that, that ain't got scratches. No, but Jay Z do that now. But when he came from and when Jay Z was coming up, Jay Z was about lyrics. Even though he rap fast or do this, it was about lyrics. Yeah. He, he's, he's still on. His, he's still a lyricist. One of the greatest. About flows and all that shit. That's why I say Jay Z is not just some pop star. He's not just some nigga that just came right. up and, and but here's the thing, a right? fly by night dude. 
Look, I saw some. I saw a dope interview on the Talib Kweli podcast, right? If it scrolled up my um timeline, it was he was interviewing Most Def, his old partner, right? We got to start interviewing each other every once in a while. You understand what I'm saying? That was, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I'm saying. I thought that was dope, right? And he was talking to uh to Most Def about whatever it was he was talking about, and Most said some ill shit. Like he went on this whole you know kind of a rant, but a real one, like one that I support wholeheartedly. Right, I might have sent it to you, right? But um, what what the dope shit that Mo said was like, he's like, there's a quote from somebody, which I don't remember none of that shit, but the quote is this, the people who love me, I don't give a fuck how much you, he's like, you can love music all you want. The people, you know, the fans, they love it, they buy it, they this, that, and the third, he's like, the people who love music the most eventually try to make it. You try to create it, the, 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 like, like, yeah, motherfuckers enjoy some shit. They love, they think music. You know, people who are fans of music, they, I mean, and they could be mega fans of music. Don't, the, the, don't get that shit twisted. Like, like we make music, we got a different love for it, so we can hear what Jay Z is saying. While this other person who I'm sure listens to a lot of hip hop can consider Jay Z a pop star. And be and be confused about how he could write and spit a line that would make Lupe and the rest of us want to step our shit up. That would inspire us in such a manner. You know what I mean? Because they love music, but not like we do. Right, right. They don't understand it. You know what I mean? You wouldn't make that mistake about Jay Z if you knew it the way we know it. You know what I mean? So why is that hip hop power? Huh? Why is this guy a hip hop purist? You call him a hip hop purist? Because that's these; those are the dudes who don't. Because he looks at look, he looks at Jay Z like a pop star, and I and like, like I don't agree with hip hop. Salute to the hip hop purists. I'm willing, but they ref, like they are against the, anything that's other than you know a certain type of shit. I, I thought you meant by that like a person who probably raps that studies the game from back in the day all the way to now or something like that. Nah, you got these people that don't want to see hip hop sound like nothing other than the 90s, maybe the 80s, if anything else. You understand what I'm saying? That's what they love. They hate anything flashy, you know what I mean? Anything you know, you sell won't well, you like like you sell it. You could you could they could love you until you go platinum. Then they won't love you no more because right, now you, right. you, you you now if you're not their little underground thing or whatever. And that's you know that's that's whatever. I don't. I mean, I I, I guess I understand that. You know, people have this thing with a lot of humans. We have this thing where it's like if everybody got it, I don't want it. You right, understand yeah. what I'm saying? So whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. Jay Z is dope. I don't care who says what, man. <laughs> I mean, you ain't gonna get no argument from me. I don't listen to any of his new stuff anymore, but he's still the same person. So it's like, I mean, I don't listen to a lot of niggas. I don't really listen wow. to nothing. Like Either. I'm, too, I'm too busy being a dad and creating shit. You understand what I'm saying? So, and I want, I would, I, honestly, I wish I did listen to more. Like I'll be, I'm trying to create a space where, I, where I add more, you know, music into my, you know, my environment and shit. Because you know it mo it's motivational, you know it, it, it you know it helps the mood and shit helps set the mood and all that shit. So you know what I mean, but yeah, I haven't been listening to a lot of rap shit or hip hop shit. Like some of the dopest niggas that you know, like these niggas get busy, and I'm a co-sign them every time somebody asks me about them. But I haven't listened to their new shit. You know what I'm saying? I apologize. Yeah, you know, yeah. So is rap shit right. hip hop shit or what? What you say? Is rap shit hip hop shit? It is, but not to the hip hop purist. Cause to, to me, to so give me an example of what's rap, and give me an example of what's hip hop. Um, let's say everything that's on the radio now. Well, shit, they don't even. Yeah, that's all rap. They don't consider none of this shit hip hop. Like what? Like let's say Migos, or let's say uh, a little baby, or let's say the baby. All of that's rap to them. J. Cole, that's hip hop to them. 
to me, they are all hip hop. They're just different types of hip hop. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? To the niggas who do, I don't know, you know what I mean? I mean, some, you know, I, I'm sure there yeah, are some- Yeah, my niggas. mind niggas turned the other way around, you know what I mean? Like hip hop is like Migos and all that shit. And rap is like J. Cole. Because it's like hip hop is so mainstream now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They call hip hop, yeah, it's even some R&B shit they call hip hop. Mm -hmm. it's so mainstream, it's like, I had, in my mind, I had that the other way around, bro. Yeah. I could see, it, it would make more sense that way. Cause they call everything hip hop now, it's like, you Yeah, know. it would make more sense that way, but it's the other way around. When you speak of a hip hop purist, dumbest niggas who, like, you know, if, you know, they, they, the best producer in the world to them is probably Premier, salute to him, RZA, salute to him, but like, they not, they not fucking with, let's say, the Neptunes. Or Timberland. Or Timberland, you understand what I'm saying? And <clears throat> make no mistake, Timberland, Premier, <laughs> the Neptunes, or RZA, I will gladly, accept. like to me, as an artist, it don't make no difference. And, and and to you either, like you wanna be from all four of them. You understand what I'm saying? Was, yeah. Me too. But let, let that hip hop you know, oh, he rapping over some, he rapping over some, oh, or some net for real, man. Oh, oh. For real singing on a hook to, oh, rock, you done sold out. Right. right. I'll be like, man, and, and that's why, you know, for the past few years, I've been on a, you know, I've been on a quest for some like, fuck that. I'm spitting in the face of that because I just want to do what I like to do. If I think it's dope, I'm going to do it. We got to go to break, I think. I think our producer's calling us to break right now and shit. We want to talk more about, uh, uh, yeah, we go to break. We'll get back to that. All right. to um to sour the mood but I feel like we wouldn't really be doing our job if we didn't at least um you know we got to speak about these things these happenings and we won't sour the mood we will we will we'll work around that but um as a nation as a culture hip hop you know what I mean we have been taking a lot of hits you know what I mean ever since I saw I saw a post our producer actually yeah. sent me a post of Chuck D. He had this list. He had this list of the rappers who passed away since December, basically. And it was nine dudes on the list. And um one is double K. I didn't I'm not I wasn't really I'm not really familiar with him. Salute to him. Um rest in peace and condolences to, to, to his loved ones. And it was MF Doom, there was SC from Houdini. Prince Marky D, DMX, Black Rob, Shop G, Gift the Gab. Wasn't familiar with him. I heard it. I have heard his name before though. Um, and Biz Marky most recently. You know what I mean? Have any of these artists had any influence on you, or in, in like which ones, and 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 in what way, if any? You know what I mean? Do you have the list? I'm looking at it right now. And I have, I'm not looking at it right now, but yeah, off the top of the head, I think uh, uh, Prince Marky B, I ain't gonna say he influenced me, but I got a, a good story about how Prince Marky D was riding through my block. You know what I'm saying? And he seen my sister and got out, tried to bag my sister. 
and came through about three or four times on my joint. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, yo, Chris Barkey, D, yo, I'm talking to my sister. Yo. <laughs> That's dope. You know what I'm saying? Look, Prince Monkey D, for me, like, he, the Fat Boys was one of, like, before I was a rapper, I was a beatbox. You know, before I learned how to rap, you know, and that, that was my introduction into hip hop. It was the first thing I could do was beatbox. And, you know, and that was because of the Fat Boys. You know what I mean? And, you know, we wouldn't have heard Buffy, I wouldn't have heard Buffy beatbox if he didn't have Prince Monkey D and Cool Rock Ski rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like that was, you know, that was their thing. They were a trio. It was all three of them or none of them. You know what I mean? Chris Marky D was was kind of high. He was kind of nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. Yeah, he was. Um, Ecstasy made one of the like, like they were so influential. Like, like you see. UTFO get they start in they was dancers in 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 Houdini Houdini videos. Videos. and you know, the three. Right, 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 right. These niggas are wild influential and and it was UTFO that made me go from a beatbox to a rapper. Like yeah. I, I wrote my first rap after listening to some UTFO. You know what I mean? And like they get, UTFO gave me a new appreciation for lip for raps. Like, you know, like the lyrics was you know what I mean, growing, but also, what would UTFO have friends, right? Not UTFO, Udini. Oh, Udini have friends. Like, bruh, that song can make me cry till this day. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that song was so deep when it hit back then. I must have been going through some shit with whoever my friends was at the time. That shit was ill. No, you know what song that was for me? One Love. One Love, One Love. Look, just to this day, that song is dope, bro. To this day, that song is dope. Yeah, it is. Um, salute to MF Doom, right? MF Doom. A lot of people don't realize that MF Doom had a, you know, was his second coming in hip hop. Like he was, uh, damn, I don't want to fuck it up. He was, uh, was he? What was it? What was it? What was his? What was his first identity in hip hop? Was it uh, KM? Was it KMD? We're gonna strike this from the record. I don't want to fuck it up. So yeah. Yeah. Nah, like uh, one nah, of the, yeah. like you remember we um, cause I don't want to disrespect you know his shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't follow it hard body, but you remember back in the days it was a group KMD. You had UMCs. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? They had their little movement. I don't know if they would they ran with each other, but I feel like they were similar to each other, or whatever. Um, MF Doom is wasn't one KMD them. one dude. He was down with uh third base, right? MC Search and Pete Nice and Prime Minister oh. Pete Nice. Um, I remember that KMD. I don't know. I'm we speaking of the same. I don't know if it, if if it was one dude or it's a group. I'm fucking it up. My memories is 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 is, is busting my head right now. Um, I'm sure the fans. When they see this in the, on the on the YouTube and shit, you know, like that, let us know in the comments what we're talking about. Um, it's right at the off the tip of my tongue. I, I just can't. But um, bottom line, Ruck loved the shit out of MF Doom. Like like Ruck was like I knew about MF Doom through Ruck. You know what I mean? He was on he was on his MF Doom flex. You know what I mean? He put me on. Son had a dope offbeat style. It, you know it. He rapped in the way niggas don't rap. You know what I mean? Like, you can't rap that way and get away with it. And he did, and it was dope. He didn't just get away with some bullshit. He showed you that that shit that you didn't think was dope was dope. Right, right. It was dope. <clears throat> I mean, for me, anyway. You know what I mean? The shit was mad off-center with the, his flow. It was hell. It was hell. Anybody listening or watching, treat yourself to some... <coughs> to some Because the shit was wild, lyrical. He was saying some shit. You know what I mean? His delivery is just kind of brash and a little bit awkward. You know, if if I if if you know if I can say that without somebody feeling disrespected. Um, DMX, come on, B. DMX was the great hope for like he's the hope. Like I always say, hip hop try to pretty yourself up. DMX is that that he's that example of that artist that comes along every you know several years and they gritty this shit back up 
and they give hope to all of the rest of the gritty MCs. Talk about yeah, the hip hop, you know, the lyrics is coming back. And la 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 la. DMX represented that for us, and he and he represented that shit like he did that shit well. Like you know what I mean? Like he was an overweight gutter, like overweight gutter, like you know, niggas with the. The Rough Rider whole movement, the fucking motorcycles and the four wheelers and all of that shit. That shit is still a nationwide movement. You still go someplace now and see like Rough Rider gangs <coughs> in different cities and shit. Shit is amazing. And you got you got a favorite DMX song? Let me fly. Mm, mine is Stop Being Greedy. I know it off the rip. I ain't even got to think about it. Um. Black Raw. It's a cool brother. Black Rob is a Brownsville nigga in disguise. I always wanted to say that. Like, so, like, to anybody who know Brownsville and you know Black Rob, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? But he was a good dude. Some always showed. Like, Black Rob was the first person who showed me, in all honesty, that the enemy. Well, well, the friend of my enemy ain't necessarily always my enemy. Because Black Rob fucked with somebody that I didn't fuck with. And I ran into Black Rob in the club one time. And Black Rob refused to let that interrupt all of the love that he had to show me and us and our movement and this, that, and the third. You know what I mean? And I always respected him for that. Because he went hard. He was like, nah, nigga, fuck that. I love you niggas. And then he always was, he would always come out to events for boot camp members and shit. Just random, like nobody invited son. I don't know, he just pop up. Nigga, nigga popped up at my birthday party one year at a Mobile Mondays event and shit. Like that, 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 that used to be our spot, Bowery Electric and shit. But yeah, um, did you know Black Rob? Me? Yeah, did you know him? Yeah. Yeah, he's one of the real ones, you know what I'm saying? Like, he wasn't faking it, you know what I mean? He's really, you know, he's really from the grit, you know what I mean? He just happened to be associated with a shiny label, you know what I mean? And Bad Boy, you know, it was, you know, it was the, the glossy, flossy type of, you know, but some was gritty. <laughs> Shop G. Any influence on you, brother? Any influence? I don't know about influence, but Shock G makes one of the best songs in the world to me. You know what I mean? And that's uh, Do What You Like. All right. Do what you, yeah, at yeah, the yeah. time, it was a different song. That's why people wasn't making songs like that at that time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it was like, it caught me off guard, and I liked it from the start, bro. Shock G was like, you know, he let <laughs> us know that you, even with. Even he didn't have to make that song, do what you like, to show us, do what you like. This nigga right, came right. out and fucking, you know what I'm saying? On some nigga put on some glasses and a nose and a different hat, and really milked this shit. I, I yeah. actually met Shot G years and years later. You know what I mean? And you know, like you still want to ask him just to like it was. It was, I still wanted to ask him, like, you, you was Humpty, right? <laughs> nigga, nigga, you was Humpty, right? That was, just for the record, that was you, right? Like, I still, I, I, I never met Shop G, but I met uh, Money B. Yeah, salute to Money B. I met him too, that's the homie. Yeah, I fuck with Money B. Like, about yeah, me, times. Yeah, me and Shock did a song together, actually. I didn't like it. I didn't, I didn't like it. I was rap <laughs> it was too fast. I was rapping too fast on the beat and shit. I didn't like it, but, but, we fucking did it, goddamn it! I appreciate it. I had a I had a dope build with him, you know what I'm saying? We was talking about all kind of all all kind of deep shit and shit. And rest in peace to him. Salute to him and his condolences to his loved ones. Biz Marky, the Biz Marky, Biz Marky, had a big influence on me, man, because. Yo, remember back in the days, you know what I'm saying? We had Self Love Day or Glad Boy Day. Mm -hmm. All the girls get their teens, they start dancing. What mm -hmm. they dancing to, Rock? He's Vince Marquis, Mr. Dynamite. Yeah, 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 they, yeah, yeah, they either yeah, dancing yeah. to that, 
Oh, they dancing the this is uh, sign for the radio. Oh yeah. So, 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 so. All the time. Well, listen. Earlier in our career, we were blessed to do a song with uh with 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 Frankie Cutlass. With Frankie Cutlass, right? And on the song, it was the song we was on had Rampage on the song. Who else was on the song? Uh, oh, no, no, no. Huh? Nah, Pun wasn't on the song. But uh, I, I can't think of it right now. My memory is bad. But on the video, they did like a two and one, a two for one video, and they connected the song. They connected that song, like me and they just used me and Ruck's verse from that song, and put it on the joint at the end of this joint with that had biz it was like basically the juice crew i think it was roxanne shante biz uh, uh, you know what i mean so you know we got that you know we got to hang out with biz and shit you know and and uh, among sean you know biz shante amongst a, a bunch of others you know that day was a dope ass day you know? <laughs> you know what i mean and um you know biz, every time you ran into biz he was always cool but the best the funniest biz mark the funniest biz story I got come from Sean P. And you and you've been and you were there for it. You were you were there numerous times. Back in the days before caller, before caller ID, when somebody when me and Ruck had the crib to see camp over until then, like and, and and the phone would ring. We had this one phone, no call ID, no nothing. And we didn't know who was calling. One day the nigga Ruck just went to he went to answer the phone and he looked at all of us and was like, yo. When I pick up the phone, everybody just yell, go Bismarck, right? And he picked up the phone and we all literally just like, yo, go Bismarck, go Bismarck, go Bismarck, go Bismarck. And Ruck was just standing there like, yo, I'm saying, yo, I'm, yo, yo, it's a lot of niggas out the crib right now. I'm doing shit, you know what I'm saying? I can't, I, I can't talk to you right now. And that became our caller ID for the next fucking year or so. Whenever somebody called and we wasn't expecting no call, a nigga would go, I would, I would, I would answer the phone. I'd be like, "Yo, let me get a go biz mark, y'all." <laughs> niggas, would, the niggas would jump right in the character. I answer the phone, go biz mark, go biz mark, go biz mark. And I'm just like, "Nah, you know what I'm saying? It's real busy right now. All the homies is over here right now. Same song, no different song, no nothing. It was just the stupidity of young health to skelter shit, and and I, I, I always appreciate those moments. She was, she was beautiful. Salute to Bismarck. Bismarck. Salute to all of those. Salute to Gift of Gab and Double K as well. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm sure they're great men. You know what I mean? Salute to their families. Condolences. get into some petty after you know after uh fuck it you know it's always and the petty is it any time is a good time for a little bit of petty i'm not being petty i'm just reporting <laughs> petty and expressing petty from time to time so without further ado we will get into the petty portion sponsored by p or or, or hey. by p or, hey. or you know brought to you by p hey. It could be petty sometimes. Um, my brother would just wake up one day and be like, you know what, I don't like son no more. And he really wouldn't fuck with you no more. Like I'm on my way to his crib with you in the car. And nah, don't bring that nigga upstairs no more. He can't come. What happened, son? I don't know. He, the nigga, the, 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 the nigga said something stupid petty anyway. So I couldn't, I don't, I don't, I didn't have any petty of my own. And Strang never has any petty. So he says, um, I um, 
I came across a, re- a report of some petty <laughs> where uh, some guy, some guy had a tree growing onto his property from his neighbor's from his neighbor's uh, property or whatever, and I don't know what their previously re- pre- previous relationship was, but. You know, it's a beautiful tree, whatever whatever it is, you know what I mean? And do basically chops down half of the tree. You know, like just the part of the tree that's on his property. You know what I mean? And it doesn't sound all of that dramatic and all of that. But I mean, when you look at the, what you call it, if you see the photos and all of that, you may get the impression that you like, you know, this is, yeah, yes, this is, this is petty, right? And, and then, you know, so as I discussed this with, with my good brother, Starang Wonder, Starang Wonder said to me, he was like, I don't know if that was petty. I would do the same thing. Right? Yeah. Okay. There you have it, people. And we Starang, all know I'm not petty, so if I would do it. There you have it, people. Starang's first installment into the petty portion of Monster Mondays. And, you know, and and we thank you. It's a tree, bro. It's a tree. You might be able to use the tree for shade. You might be able to hang a swing on a tree and shit. You know, it's, it's a tree, nigga. Well, when I chop it, I might be able to use it for wood to put in the fire when I want to sit outside and shit like that. Petty. It's petty. We out. We about to be out. We like to thank our um our our sponsors, um our our producer. Um, Black League Entertainment, yes. AO Records, Dash Radio, Delicious Vinyl, DJ Rec. You know what I mean? Down Lounge Studios, man. Down Lounge Studio Traffic Sounds. You know what I mean? Monster Nation. We Solid out here. Ice. Solid Ice. We got plaques. Zoe. Judy Credits. Rage. Thank you for listening to Monster Mondays Podcast. Please join us every Monday from 8 to 10 p.m. West Coast Time and 11 to 1 a.m. East Coast Time. Every single Monday, Monster Monday on the Dash app. Also, check out these awesome shows from the rest of our podcasting family. Funny Farm, East New York Radio, All Elements Mix Show, The Star Power Collective, The Cosa Nostra Radio, 5150 Mix Show, Block News Live, Final Coffee Mix Show, and Hidden Gems. Check them all out under the delicious vinyl on Radio Station.